Hey there Cosmic Warriors and welcome back to another video and if you are new here my name is Hannah, I am a Western Practical Astrologer. Okay so in today's video we are going to be exploring the relationship between your sun sign and your Uranus sign. What do they say about you? Stay tuned because we are going to get into it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button and click the bell. And if you are interested in booking a reading with me, then you can visit my website, hannaselsworth.com. You can find all of my astrology products there. And I want to say thank you so, so much to my patrons over at Patreon for all of your support. If you are interested in joining the Patreon, the link is down below. Okay, as always, I hope you find this video to be helpful. Let's do this. All right, so the synodic cycle of the Sun and Uranus is about one year. Sun and Uranus form a conjunction, okay? So they join together, they blend together, ushering in a new rebellion and independence cycle. We are encouraged to think for ourselves and to consider our uniqueness. This is a dance of breakthroughs and breaking free. We might even break away from certain patterns which no longer serve us. They no longer align with our ego or our wants or our purpose. This is about reinventing ourselves breaking the norms and challenging authority. And we can certainly bring our own quirks to the table and celebrate these things, right? To celebrate our eccentricities. This is an out with the old, in with the new situation, but shattering the current system or way of seeing ourselves or expressing ourselves may be a challenging one, especially if we are not ready to move on or if we're not ready to see a new way or we're not ready to walk away from a previous version of ourselves. Indeed, this is a dance of identity change. Changes to do with our personality and our self-expression and how we really shine, how we radiate. But there is also something to be said about social change and collective future aims too. For instance, perhaps it is a collective shift or a realization that makes you question who you are and where we're even headed as a collective. This could be a friendship dynamic or a club we join. This could be a movement, a cause, a charity we are a part of, or this is about a difference we seek to see within the world. Technological advancements and shifts or possibly progression here may contribute to our newfound sense of self and the unexpected can play out. Naturally, Uranus is a generational planet and has something to say about social change and the major shifts the collective consciousness goes through. And so with the sun being involved, our ego and our identity could very well be shaken up unexpectedly so. We might even surprise ourselves, right? After all, the sun in astrology represents our vitality and our self-expression. The sun is a very conscious part of our identity and our individuality. But then Uranus represents freedom, surprise, invention, genius, the unpredictable. Therefore, the sun Uranus cycle is so much about the change we create within the world and how such matters start with us. Therefore, when sun and Uranus meet in the sky every year or so, well, a new cycle related to such things occurs. And about four months later, Uranus stations to turn retrograde for about five months. Therefore, you might have been born when Uranus uh, was retrograde, so you could have Uranus retrograde in your chart. And when the Sun and Uranus retrograde oppose one another in this guy, we have an opportunity to balance our identity and our social awareness. We can go within, we can reflect upon how aligned we are with our social views, with our originality and our wider connections, how we contribute to society as a whole. 
Now, the last time the Sun and Uranus formed a conjunction was on the 13th of May 2024 in the sign of Taurus. This started a new cycle within our Taurus house to do with our stability and our security. So thinking about unexpected events to occur there. And then by November 2024, Sun and Scorpio will oppose Uranus retrograde in Taurus, pointing toward greater inner power and profound shakeups. But hopefully uh, our focus will be unbreakable and we can transform in magnetic ways. So let's go through the Sun and Uranus aspects. Let me know in the comments what your Sun and Uranus combination is. There are a few changes though that I want to make. Um, within the modern day planet videos. So thinking about Uranus, Neptune and Pluto. One is Cassimi and Combust will not be explored. I think there are mixed views, mixed opinions online about using those, um, but I will only use Cassimi and Combust for traditional planets. Also, we will not be exploring aversion. Uh, that is more of a, a traditional technique. I will use though for these modern day planets, the semi sextile and the in conjunction because these are modern aspects. Also do consider the actual strength of the degrees because that's gonna matter, especially when we think about um, these more minor aspects being used. So the, the degree size is gonna be a bit smaller, the orb is gonna be smaller. But for more information about aspects and degrees, you know, I have made a series all about them so do be sure to keep yourself up to date there and check that out all right so first up sun and uranus in the same sign sun uranus conjunction if both sun and uranus are in the same sign in your chart you are big on your personal freedom and being an individual you could very well push past against any type of authority and you are willing to question and challenge the rules you could very well break the rules as well. You strongly dislike being placed into a box or being told this is who you are, right? You could, you would rather uh, think for yourself basically. And your purpose could reflect this attitude. You might then radiate this glow of, I am who I am, I am original, I like my quirks, I am proud of the things that make me unique. And if you don't like it, then you know where the door is. <laughs> You could very well be big into creating social change and consciously making a difference in the world. You could be very charitable, very giving, very generous. You may be very open-minded as well, but you also know how to hold your own and to stand for something bigger than yourself, right? You can also be quite uh, fixed on your views. If the sun and Uranus are closer together within a five degree orb or so, then the stuff that I just mentioned is going to be intensified really strong. Yes, it is going to be much stronger and you could very well be more stubborn and set in your ways. The sun and Uranus might also be conjunct, but in different signs, which can change things slightly, but you're still going to radiate rebellion, freedom, and staying true to your individuality. Sun and Uranus semi sextile. If your Uranus sign is in the sign before or after your sun sign, it creates a semi sextile by sign. Naturally, degrees matter, so do make sure that you look at your chart. But if sun and Uranus do create that semi sextile, for you, it might feel like your uniqueness or your quirks are more challenging to accept or to express. For example, maybe you find it difficult to love your quirks, to love your uniqueness, or you might feel disappointed when you don't stand up for your identity out of fear of being called weird or strange. You could go to express the qualities of your sun sign and then later think that your freedom was overlooked. Perhaps you can experience uh, the sudden whirlwinds of chaos when you realize that you were not really truly seen for who you are. You might even uh, be erratic or you could be unexpectedly caught up in social situations that don't actually align with you. Sun and Uranus actually create a semi sextile in my chart and I can relate to this information. And so maybe a challenge for you is trying to bridge the gap between your self expression and your independence. Sun and Uranus retrograde in conjunction. Okay. 
if you were born with the sun in conjunct Uranus retrograde, so when Uranus retrograde is in the sign before or after the sign opposite your sun sign, well, Uranus retrograde adds another layer to being separated from your uniqueness, if you will. This could be about innovation or your intuition. There is a deep reflection to do with your quirks and your freedom, but there can also be what feels like a hesitation or a delay within you. You might rebel or even detach without realizing, for example, or you might suddenly challenge authority without fully grasping why. Naturally, with Uranus being retrograde, such matters are considered more deeply and hey, you could very well come to understand these parts of yourself with time. Sun Uranus sextile. If your Uranus sign is two signs over from your sun sign, it creates a sextile by sign. Again, consider the degrees. Closer um, by degree, sextiles are gonna be stronger. Sextiles have a Venus-like quality. Therefore, when it comes to your rebellion, your freedom, your sun supports your efforts, your ego, self-assurance, confidence, and radiance lend a helping hand to your friendships, groups, clubs, and group participations. And your Uranus assists your ego's desire to be a part of a community or a team or an organization, etc. Maybe you are applauded or you're seen as quite popular, right? You may be well known or maybe uh, your uniqueness is recognized greatly. You acknowledge your quirks and perhaps you're fascinated by things that are different or unusual. Because the sun rules our conscious self, you might be more aware of the things you like that are original. Maybe you're also aware of how you shine or radiate within groups or the impact that you make within groups and communities. And you're also willing to support other people's differences, provided they are open to celebrating yours. Plus, you could very well be a charitable person, very kind and giving. Sun, Uranus, square, and then we'll also touch on the retrograde. If your Uranus sign is three signs over from your sun sign, it creates a square by sign. Consider the degrees, right? Closer by degree, squares are gonna be much stronger. Squares have a Mars-like quality. Therefore, when it comes to difference, social change, or collective aims, well, your sun might not be the most supportive. It might feel like your sun creates conflict or tension as if your sun is fighting against your ability to think for yourself and be free. Yes, you're most likely someone who stands for justice, freedom, and making a change within society, but perhaps there's a part of you that fights against such matters too. Maybe there um, is more, this is more about image or being liked, or perhaps you suppress what actually makes you unique so that you can fit in, only to later realize that you're not being authentic. You are not staying true to yourself. Naturally, this is about stepping up to the challenge by learning how to bring out your weirdo uh, quality, so to speak, or to welcome your uniqueness in all of its glory. <laughs> And if you are quick to put down other people's opinions, perhaps it is a good idea to consider why that is or where that sort of comes from. You can be inventive, friendly, and simply brilliant, but there is also something here to be said about learning to express these parts of yourself with greater awareness and confidence. Now, there is a possibility that Uranus is retrograde in your chart with that square, so creating a square to the sun this essentially adds a much more contemplative quality to this information. Maybe you keep to yourself a lot more or you feel strongly that your opinions are true for you and you would rather not get into any controversial discussions about things that are meaningless in your view. Sun, Uranus, trying, and then we'll touch on the retrograde. If your Uranus sign is four signs over from your sun sign, it creates a trine by sign. Consider the degrees. Closer by degree, trines are going to be stronger. Trines have a Jupiter-like quality. Therefore, when it comes to things like your future visions, the differences you wish to see in the world, the qualities about you, which are quirky or unique, well, the sun enhances the efforts of Uranus. And Uranus also extends the reach of your self-expression and aliveness, so to speak. Meaning you could very well inspire others with your visions, with your insights, your unique perspectives. Maybe you are talented on an intuitive level or you're very popular 
others could very well follow your lead. You make changes that have a huge collective impact on the rest of the world, or perhaps your unusual views come out through art or entertainment, right? Your ideas are brilliant, perhaps genius at times, and they don't go unnoticed. You might shine within areas that involve community or togetherness, social work, this type of stuff. And when you step into areas that involve collective visions, your son celebrates your efforts. Likewise, your Uranus feels a sense of excitement and exuberance um, when you shine and put yourself out there via your sun. Perhaps also you are blessed with an endless stream of aha moments, which you can also share with the world. Naturally, Uranus could very well be retrograde whilst creating the trine to the sun. So again, such matters that I talk about are much more internal. Uh, there could be some setbacks, there could be some delays there, or it might take a while for you to truly sort of let out the inspiration and the brilliance which lies within you. And lastly, sun opposite Uranus retrograde. If your Uranus sign opposes your sun sign, your sun and Uranus create an opposition by sign. Consider the degrees, closer by degree oppositions are stronger, of course, Oppositions have a Saturn-like quality. Therefore, when it comes to things like independence and freedom, there is a struggle here, there is a resistance, blockages, setbacks, and delays are very much present. You might have been treated like a weirdo or a freak, for example, growing up, or this could very well be the case if you have Uranus retrograde in your chart in general. Still, you might have been treated like an outcast, sort of shut out from the grip, like from the tribe, essentially. Or you were more of a loner type. You preferred to keep to yourself away from all of the drama. Huge no uh, when it comes to drama or petty issues that seem so insignificant to you. You might also prefer to think for yourself or you'll deliberately choose the path less traveled. Naturally, this is not always the case uh, because another possible manifestation of this energy is you rejecting your difference and refusing to integrate it or to see it as a part of you, right? So you sort of cast it out, if you will. And so basically a part of you rejects yourself out of fear of judgment from others. Those fears of being seen as a weirdo or not fitting in, for instance. But as you grow, you might come to integrate your uniqueness, right? Or you might start to find the people that you align with the most. You find your tribe, the people who are not so conforming with the rest of society. Perhaps you join certain groups or clubs and there is this greater feeling of belonging, right? There is a feeling of community present and you thrive. <laughs> Perhaps then you grow to be proud of the groups you join to be proud of your difference. You might also grow to see your delays and your setbacks as part of your story, your unique story. And that those times sort of lead up or led up to these kinds of people showing up in your life. With time, patience and effort, you come to be this mature and committed figure who is recognized for your independence and for your outside of the box ideas. Your ability to overcome belonging adversity shines through. Okay then, Cosmic Warriors. So that concludes my video talking all about your sun and Uranus signs. Again, let me know your sun and Uranus combination in the comment section. And do let me know if you find this video to be helpful. I really hope you did. Did you learn something new? And like you, I am always learning. Again, I want to say thank you so, so much to my patrons over at Patreon for all of your support. With all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And of course, if you would like to see more videos from myself and you have not yet subscribed, then make sure that you do click that subscribe button and also give this video a like if you, do, if you did like it today. And I will be back with another video very, very soon.